Uh, I don't really much talk that right now. Navin enjoys this game. He's looking forward to Dragon Ball Fighter Z. He's not very good at 2D fighters. Venice, on the other hand, loves 2D fighters. In fact, he barely even plays this game. He likes to play Blue and Kalika. No, I'm not going to talk to the person in the set whilst they're playing the set. That would be bad for him. Then again, you might be talking to each other and that would be completely stupid. I can't wait for the match where you just sort of stand there throwing the same move waiting for them to punish it and going, oh no, it's harsh, it's minus 11. Okay, uh, she wouldn't switch then to do anything. Is it was Josie out of the range of Law's uh, plus on block punch? Probably. Anyway, no conversion off the magic four. Just eats that, ducks the, uh, after the frame and hide from Law. Law tries to throw it against the wall, but it wasn't close enough. Alright, uh, that happened. Wow. I can't reach terrible. I'm too slow. Will starts off the 11 frame natural, not natural, but counter hit combo. Takes him all the way to the wall, less than 50%. Makes up with a mid kick. Yep, Joe's trying to wall splat, uh, not this time, doesn't go for the command grab, whatever. No punish on the dragon's cannon. Tried to go for the right punch, parry for afterwards for some reason. Yep, we're we'll just content to wait this one out. I'm not going to get too impatient against this character, otherwise you will die. Once again, firing the first shot, Venice eating it with his face. Oh no! Looks like Dan one has frame advantage. Doesn't kill them off the wall splat, but then he gets a side wall, what's this? It's bad, bad idea, that's what it was. Anyway, as you can tell from the character panels at the beginning of this matchup, someone plays this game a lot more than the other person. Uh, I have to kill some time here, but yeah, I guess that's commentary, isn't it? So what did we learn there? It looks like Venus doesn't know its strings. That's my takeaway. Also the bit where he got magic for and wasn't ready to follow up was sort of like... Okay, maybe he just thought he'd block it. But then again that would uh, suggest that he's going to throw out a move that is minus 9 and then hit another button. Wait, Twitter's interesting. <laughs> have they? Yeah, they have. Okay, cool. Obvious reasons. That'd be like if a commentator was giving one of the players tips. Then again, if they're both in the party, I mean, I'm sort of dying on my ass here. No, wait, this is the bad start. Got that one custom outfit. Okay, allowing Ventus to go first. Blocks the thing. Alright, Navman not biting on the switch thing. Ventus running into an upcut. 
it's minus 17. But you chose something with crap range. Wow, he uh, chose a good time to duck there, and I don't believe that's minus 15, so... Yeah, Cameron. <laughs> the the run-up and whiff. That's a new one. Yeah, Lowell's overhead punch is like uh, plus five. Cameron disrespected. He did that in the previous set, but it actually paid off. Uh, in this one, he just got lost. Uh, the exact same follow-up to switch one, he did 3-4-3, and have an 8 both times, for seemingly no reason. He needs to remember that only the low move that comes out of switch stance is negative one hit, not everything else. I guess he's just sort of getting a handle on Cameron's impatience, but... I play Nevin. I know, he just sort of does two or three things and then goes to something massively unsafe. But hey, I used to do that too! Final during the party. Oh, what the fuck? Damn, I'm not the only one that was using it in here. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. I thought, like, Cameron would be in here. I asked, I asked if, uh, no mic. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. If, if you're not both in here, then it doesn't really make sense to be in here. I'll be back after the thing's done. Hitting the button, Cameron. <laughs> yes, uh, well anyway, what the fuck? At least Cameron started doing lows there. Let me guess, is an unexpected dinner appeared. Let's give him time to look at the notes that I gave him personally into his hand. <laughs> what happened? He just didn't press his button. Press your button. There we go. Problem problem solved. I am the FGC plumber. Mm -hmm. This camo C. I am utterly shocked that an FGC member does not have a mic. Astounded. Yeah, a bit baffled why Cameron's starting at 3 forward 3 in neutral. It's like, that's the punishable one. You, you want to make them show that they can duck 3 3 first before you start throwing that one out. Is it even a natural combo? I don't believe so. Maybe it is. That would at least make it worth the risk. So this we can put we can put a bullet in its head. <laughs> Josie looking like Cameron's feeling. No, in the character portrait, not. Yeah, with glasses. Okay, just throwing out a bunch of random strikes to get 
the life lead and then doing a move that's minus 17. Not getting punished. Uh, getting randomly launched by Josie, who clearly doesn't know what the follow-up is. Down forward two, we need block dragons can. Come on. Okay, wakes up the button, pushes Lord to the corner twice. Hey, throws him out of this. That was jab down forward two, which have been about 14 frame gap. Uh, oh no, okay, he drops it though. Can still kind of save her. And he got impatient and pressed the button. In the middle of 3 3, which wall splits, and he probably would have died even if he had more health. Uh, that's two things Navin's dropped in this set so far. Match even. Okay, Law is back to him there, and he's going for a launcher. Josie interrupted him in time, fortunately. Anyway, Navin tried again and carried him all the way to the wall. And now he's like, hey, that's my mid high wall splat. How do you like it? Round star <laughs> kick. <laughs> Let's exercise a little patience here, boys. I mean, that round sort of did its own commentary. Get launched, get launched, die. Oh no, down forward one, four times. Not giving him the full mech sister treatment. Yeah, see, told you it's not minus 15. Don't know if Cameron's getting counted out or trying to duck or doing what. Can't actually tell until they have toasts on screen. Well, big explosive sounds for everything. Mm, Nevin could have wall splat him with the uh, knuckle thing, but he chose not to. Alright, he's going to do a wacky thing first. No, you'd probably... dead. Yeah. I know, it was a, a range where it could have whiffed. He didn't contemplate how much life he had left. Alright, while raising 2 is minus 18, and button shows he chose, should have punished it, but it didn't. One of those things. Alright, switch 1 is blocked, and then Vert has pressed another button, so he's pressing buttons and he's minus. Oh. And he's unaware that that's got a kick behind it. say. Impatience on both sides there. Uh, yeah, so I did play Josie against Nevin a whole bunch this past week. He's like, man, I suck against this character. And it's like, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't need to worry too much. Now, what do you know? It's going pretty well. But like I stated at the beginning, he doesn't play Tekken too often, Cameron. So it's like, whatever. This is what we're accepting at this level. Uh, how can they adapt? I guess Cameron could exercise a little patience at the beginning of some rounds. Probably block when he's minus. You know, that's a good one. Oh yeah, he also needs to punish while rising two and dragons cannon much better. I think he can punish both with down forward two. Which is a pretty long reaching launcher with Josie. One he probably should just be throwing out for the fuck of it. It's really good. But I think the one or two times that he did actually use it, he didn't even come close to doing a combo off of it, so, yeah. Blaze Blue players. Now, apart from throwing out random launches, uh, the best Navin really did in that last one was at the beginning of the first round where he just like threw out seven or eight individual strikes and took like 
a quarter of his health off of him. So yeah, you can just do that. So I don't think nine combos and nine strings is massively important. Especially as Josie, I'm pretty sure her lows are like plus on hit. You can't just chip away and then keep going. Oh shit! Oh! That almost looked like an actual combo until it was clearly made up on the fly. Wow, Dragon Stance in his face got interrupted. Not with anything can't hit though. Can I head kick? No follow up this time. Which makes me think the previous one was a complete fluke. Hey, a whiff punish. Unfortunately, Law was in the air and Josie got jack shit. Hey, good attempt at whiff punishing, but yeah, it recovered too fast here. Yep. Cameron, uh, not exercising that patience I was talking about. Plus into, yeah, okay, he actually bit on the switch there, but I think he just might have been crouching and got hit by mid. No count hits. Hey, whoa, plus six, goes for a head kick. So yeah, Nevin blocked a head kick and then, like, most head kicks in this game are like minus nine, so it's totally your go, but then he decided to block something, which is screw attacked him, if it was a counter hit. Anyway, that was about 20 seconds ago. Low, low. Now is going to go for a plus on block move. To be completely honest here, Josie could get completely cheeky and just do 3-3 three, three and then rage out, because it's only like minus one or two. You got to pull out the gimmick here and there. Like, being minus one or two is like total... Ah, this is where I do my power crush, rage art, sidestep, back dash and whiff punish bullshit. Uh, why is this chat nonsense come off on my screen? Get out of here. Oh yeah, right, I was typing in the score, which is basically 4-0 at this point. Uh, which should be obvious to anyone who can do basic maths. Wow. Yeah, I suppose combos in this game are so long, so it gives the commentators time to actually talk about what happened in neutral. It's like, oh yeah, kick, uh, button, uh, shoot, he's minus, he's died. Uh, I don't think the stage with walls is going to help Cameron too much here. Maybe it will, since he's throwing out stuff that wall splants pretty often. But, uh, actually being in an advantageous position with his opponent's back to the wall has happened like what? Once? I think it was once. Anyway, it's a much, much smaller stage. But, like, how often has he been landing the hit that takes the opponent to the wall? my arms and be like, I give you notes, man. How do you not know the combos? I think it's pretty obvious what the answer is. No punish. Wow, what do you know? Jo Josie, every time she blocks a jab, it, that's when she wants to go. When the opponent's plus one. Anyway, interrupts Law on hit when he's back turned, which is great because he was going for the low launcher again. No, fuck. When someone spring attacks in your face at whiffs, it's a great time to launch them. You don't swing back. 
Hey, finally a big, a big thing landed. Doing sway back thing would take up way too much frames to punish someone. Oh shit, what's happening here? Okay, probably the best thing Cameron's done all set. Gone for that wall smite. See, just a quick jab afterwards and it clipped law. What do you know? It's barely disadvantageous. She was going for the big soccer kick that lifts people off the floor. I don't know why. Don't use that move in neutral, guys. Oh, she was hit by the sidewall. Legend kick would have been great. Oh, stops and go for Dragon's Tail. What? Kill him. Oh, for fuck's sake. I guess that answers the question of 3 4 3 is a natural combo or not. It's not. Hey, holy fuck, it's a punish. Okay. No punish on the flip kick. I don't know what he blocked before he did while standing too, but I've played Josie and I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any lows that are minus 15. Correct me if I'm wrong. Boink. Yep, she... Cameron definitely liking to start off with fishing for a counter hit head kick into 3-3 into dropping the combo. Yep. Boink. And we're done. That round showing you that Cameron is totally unprepared for Junkyard. And uh, Navid is too busy going into Dragon Stance at the end of Junkyard to get prop combo off of it. So, yeah.